Hey guys, um, I was going to post like every single day, but you know, dealing with the shit that this pandemic has caused, um, I haven't, um, <laughs> I'm technically off my, my self isolation and, um, I went into work and I was like, you know, I'm okay to work and stuff like that, but I, uh, I lost my childcare spot, so I can't you know, offer them reliability, which is something that, you know, some employers need, and, um, you know, it's really scary out there right now, and I feel like my responsibilities lie with, um, outweigh my wants right now, so it was a tough decision, but I am at home, I'm applying for EI, and you know what, let's just ride this shit out. Let's do this shit like the rest of the fucking country. Um, I'm super sketched to go to the store now. I have like yellow rubber gloves and stuff. I, you know, put Rob's boxers on my face. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I saw a video about the diapers, putting it over your face. Um, I just really don't want to catch COVID-19. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I went to the store today. I went to Costco and the line was insane. Um, I talked to, I think it was a Costco employee. I have no idea. Maybe it was a truck driver. Um, I was like, are you guys worried about supply chain? And he was like, look, look at these trucks. One, two, three, four, five. I was like, um, yeah, they're here now. That's the issue. Are they going to be coming in, you know, a couple of months? Um, the United States is seeing, is seeing loads of cases right now. Um, they've surpassed China now in confirmed cases. And it just keeps climbing. And, you know, China is a huge... Or China. <laughs> China too, actually. China and the United States are huge suppliers of, you know, our produce and, you know, our basic necessities. And <sighs> it's just scary. Like, what if they can't keep the supply chain going? Um, but I'm really learning that that stuff is kind of beyond my control. And, you know, it's time for me to just, you know, start going with the flow and figure this shit out like everybody else. Um, I, you know, I started a little community Facebook page. Um, I've been doing my at-home workouts. I went biking yesterday um, on the Galloping Goose and, you know, it was quite alarming to see how many people were actually out there on the Galloping Goose. Um, you know, if this shit was airborne, we would be so fucked because that's how close everybody was. Um, but I guess to each their own, maybe, I don't know. I'm on the fence with that too. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I couldn't get into Costco today, so I'm gonna have to go tomorrow at like 8 a.m. You know, the line was so bad, it'll probably have to be 7.30 a.m. I did plan ahead, but you know, what if the supply chain doesn't come, you know, in a month or so? Yeah, I've got stuff for a month, but I have nothing after that, you know? Um, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Hmm. But yeah, that's my life. <laughs> and dealing with, you know, phone calls that are abnormally long. I went to do my, get my car payment deferred. And that literally took four hours. And then, you know, they've got that BC card uh, that's online now. And you have to call and verify. And you have to talk to somebody face to face, like on a camera. Um, that again took like three hours. And then trying to get on EI has been a flipping nightmare. Like, you can't even get through. Like, the site kept crashing, and, you know, I keep trying every single day. Um, I didn't want it to come to, like, an ROE situation because I thought that we could work around it. But for medical EI, you do need an ROE. Um, and to me, it was like, I'm losing my job. Like, this really sucks. But, you know... Again, my responsibilities really outweigh my wants, and I do want to go to work, and I do, you know, 
I want to proceed with my life goals and it just sucks. We'll get there. We just won't do it in the time frame that I had, you know, allotted or projected. But that's that. Um, the news is getting really scary. Um, I'm not exactly sure where they haven't really locked down Victoria yet. Um, I just hope things on the island don't get like Italy or New York. Um, and you know, all the signs are pointing that it might. Everything seems to be pointing to that it might happen here. Um, and it's quite nerve wracking. Uh, you know, we can see how the smaller communities in the United States handle, handle this, but we can also watch the smaller communities in I wouldn't say smaller communities because Ontario and Quebec and Vancouver are absolutely large hubs and their numbers keep climbing and yeah, it's quite alarming. alarming. Um, I think globally we're at like half a million people affected by this. Um, but I mean, as a globe, everybody's affected by this. You know, people had to stop working. People, um, yeah. It's quite nerve wracking. <laughs> are we gonna come out of this? You know, like, are we gonna go into the depression? You know, are savings worthless? Um, yeah, I don't know. It seems to be uncertainty all the way around across the board. Anywhere you ask, there seems to be uncertainty. Nobody knows what's gonna happen in the next coming weeks. Um, all they're telling us to do is prepare for something, you know, that we have never seen before. Um, like our healthcare system is, could collapse. Like, you know, we're supposed to be a first world country, but some people aren't allowed to wear masks and stuff just to conserve for, you know, COVID frontline workers. So, oh, it's so scary. Anyways, um, that's that. My mental health is like dwindling, but you know, I'm trying to stay positive. I have to stay positive for Franklin and um, yeah, that's all I can do. From now on, I can like post videos and stuff because it's for sure like I'm stuck at home until this shit blows over. So I'm going to do what every, every other Canadian is doing and apply, apply, apply. You know, they've got that BC housing, they've got that relief fund in case I get denied by EI. Like we just apply for fucking everything. You know, and hope for the best. You know, um, they can't really evict us now. So if shit doesn't work out, if shit really goes sideways, like the government is preparing us all the way around. Um, yeah, I just hope we come out of this shit and fucking on top. Anyways, um, I, w I hope that everybody stays safe out there. Everybody who is still working. Um, you guys are essential for the economy, and the government has said that. Um, you know, <laughs> just stay safe. Um, that's all I can say. And I'll do my part by staying home. Well, kind of, because I have to fight crime and stuff for mental stability. <laughs> okay, goodbye.